Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be going over something um, I did get question, a query about the other day, um, and so I will be covering it now, um, which is <coughs> uh, 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 files, saving and loading from files. So we're going to be creating and loading uh, from text files. Um, so to begin with we're going to go ahead and go file equals open. So this here is the open file that opens your file and your system uh, generally only within the file system that you're currently in unless you give it a file path to another file. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go file test.txt <coughs> and then we're going to go ahead and write to that file. Oop, my bad. I don't know what it keeps securing, but it's been doing that all morning. String list <coughs> is equal to nothing uh, because we're going to be passing into that. And we're going to write a for loop um, to do that. Uh, actually, let's go five. Um, now we want to go string list dot append. And we want to append to it an input of um, add to line string of i plus one, um, and then add another string of a print uh, that there. All right. So now what we want to do is we also want to put brackets around this and we want to go plus or comma I guess, no, yeah, no plus, um, slash n. Oh, what, what happened there? Oh, sorry, my keyboard's a bit strange. I'm still getting used to it. All right, so slash n, and that will uh, break the line. Now, within it can either go right uh, file file dot write lines and pass in that whole string list. So as you can see here, um, if I just quickly go down to the console, we can see down here that it's asking me to add to line one. So uh, test test one, test two, test three, test four. Now, if we go back up. Up here you'll be able to see in our file system we have our test file which is here and in here you can oh wait no that's the wrong one this one here sorry in here you can see we have um, all of the stuff we just input so now if we go back to that uh, where is it there we could also go ahead and go instead of doing this we go file um, instead of appending to a list we could just go straight up and go file dot write line or write. <coughs> go ahead and run this. Size preset down to here. Um, add to line one something something else. Hello world test. All right, and now we can go back up into the main. Um, area and if we quickly just move across to here if we open up that file system again you'll see we have everything split onto individual lines <clears throat> so that is currently how you uh, write to a file um, make sure you have a W here for write and your file name here obviously you can have a list of file names depending on what you want to write to depending um, you could be passing this into an a for loop and having to write to multiple files um, but it's up to you how you do it um, this way here could be more efficient than saving to a list first uh, depends what you need to use the data for that you're saving um, if you need to use it in the future then it's probably best to save it to a list um, but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye all right hello there guys um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that'd be a great help to my channel um, if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below 
um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. See you.